Hey there, and welcome back. Today I am back with my Innocenti Spider. In previous videos, I did get the car running, but we found out that the fuel tank was completely clogged up and could not pump any fuel from the tank up to the engine. So last time I removed the fuel tank, and today we need to deal with that and see if we can get it to work. Here's the fuel tank as I had removed it. It looks pretty gross, so let's throw it in the parts washer, get it cleaned up, and then we can start working on it. Before I can run the washer, I need to turn it on and let the heater warm up. If I don't let it warm up first, the soap will just start foaming up and overflow. So we want it at 140 degrees before we actually start using it. Sounds like it's bubbling already, which is a good indication. I need to add a little bit of water because some has evaporated. Okay, I've dumped in a bunch of water. I think it's okay now. Let's let this warm up. I set the tank in there with the inlet facing down. So if any water gets in there, it should come back out. I just want to wash the outside of the tank for now. Let's get it washed. It's ran about half the time. Let's check in on it. See how it's looking. It's definitely knocked all the dirt and the flakes of rust that were just going to fall off on it. I'm going to let it run the whole time. I did take the drain plug out of the bottom of the tank and the outlet of the tank is right here. So let's see if we can get that unbolted. I actually thought that would be harder to get off. So we have our little standpipe and our filter. You can see the end of it has a little bit of goo on the bottom of it. But if we get this cleared up, then we'll have a good clear line out of the tank and up to the car. The filter does just pull off of the pipe. So I'm gonna set both of these things in the solvent let the solvent run on it for a little bit. I don't think the solvent's going to clear this up, but maybe it'll loosen it up enough that we can stick a wire down there and get this cleaned out. Now I have the solvent blowing on both ends of the tube. I also have the filter in there with the circulating solvent. Okay, let's see if we can get this unclogged. I'm just gonna wait for all the fluid to siphon out of here. Let's take this piece of wire, see if we can get it work through there. Like we almost got it. So this side is like rock hard. This is the side that the filter was on. Seems like it's almost going clear through. I'm only going about that far. I'm gonna grab a drill bit or something, something that I can auger that stuff out. All right, let's try to get that cleared up. I 
anything come through? It's just a point from both ends that I can't seem to get past. There we go. Finally came out the other side. I'm gonna cut this wire off. Let's try chucking this into the drill and seeing if we can use this wire to break up what's inside there. I think maybe by chucking it into the drill like that, I can spin the wire. Well, that didn't work completely as intended, but worked a little bit. I'm just gonna let the solvent run through this for a little bit. You can see it is flowing pretty good out the other side. So it's definitely clear now. Let this run for a while. Put this back in. Before I put the fuel tank back up, I want to run a thread chaser over the bolts. So I'll take the 5 16 thread chaser. These are different from taps and dies. Taps and dies will take off more material. These do not cut as deeply as a die would. These are good to clean up the threads on studs, bolts, nuts, and threaded holes. So I'll start the thread chaser by hand if I can. You don't want to cross thread it. You can see there's nice clean threads now so I can put the new nuts on. The fuel tank is back in the car and we know the fuel can travel from that pipe up to the engine because I had a small fuel tank connected to it back here and the fuel was getting to the engine. So let's put some fuel in the tank and see if the car can run off its own tank for the first time. I still don't have a working ignition switch for this car, so I will have to hook up my hot wire box. My box is hooked up. Turn the ignition on. Let the pump run a little bit. Sounds like it pumped fuel. Let's hit the starter button, see if it runs. Wanted to. like it's running. I think from the flashing of that light there, I think our generator might be working as well. So that's pretty neat. And that's going to be it for today. So if you want to see more videos on the Innocenti Spider, comment below and let me know.